So hey everyone, so today I did this super natural, very wearable for like every day, going on job interviews, going to school, just something quick and easy. Yeah, I'm totally kidding, obviously. This is a, I make lipstick on my teeth. I think that just adds character to the look, honestly. But this is a makeup don'ts video. These are honestly things that I see people doing. I'm totally guilty of doing these things myself, I promise you. If you would like to see how I got this super natural wearable look, then just keep watching. So the first thing that you want to do is take a foundation that is slightly darker than the skin on your face. If you have fake tan to match the color of your fake tan. And even if you don't, because nobody wants to look like a ghost. Nobody wants to look like their foundation is too light for them. So even if your foundation is just a little bit too dark for you, it's okay. It's better to look like you're wearing a mask than looking like a ghost. So I'm not even going to wash my hands or use a brush because in all seriousness, who really gets germs on their hands? Like only weirdos get germs on their hands. So I'm just going to take some of my foundation and put it all over my face. Don't even worry about blending it down to your neck. I mean, honestly, because our neck's already darker than our face because we have a fake tan on, it doesn't even really matter. Then I'm going to be taking this lightest shade right here to be going right underneath our eyes. We want us to look really bright in a wig because we just put that dark foundation on a brush or your finger, whatever. I'm just gonna use a brush right now. And we're just gonna put that straight under our eyes. Make sure you look nice and awake. Do not want to look like a zombie, you know? Because that's just not cute. And we can also go down our nose. Make sure it's just super shimmery. Above our lip and maybe a little bit on our forehead. Just like that. Okay, now that we're looking, we're starting to look more flawless. Now I'm going to be taking a powder that pretty much matches the foundation I just put on. And we're just going to put that all over. Just so you don't look like a ghost. Moving on to bronzer first, I'm going to take this super dark bronzer right here. This is actually from Motives Cosmetics. And I'm just going to take just a random brush and we're just going to bronze our face. Now we want to look super, super, super bronze because that'll just make our face look like it has a lot more definition, a lot more depth. So just put that all over your face so you're nice and dark. Just put it on your whole cheek area. Don't focus it too much in one spot. Just so our cheeks are nice and dark. And then don't forget right down your nose. It's just like getting a nose job without the surgery. Next is blush, and I'm using this BH Cosmetics um, double blush thingy, blush duo. And I'm gonna take the darkest one because you know we want our blush to stand out. We want people to be like, wow, you're wearing blush. And we're just gonna put that on our cheeks a little bit over our bronzer. Just like that. You can kind of make it touch your highlight a little bit if you want. Maybe you can make it go down here a little bit. You just want people to notice that you're wearing blush. Then you can put a little bit up here on your forehead just to make it look like you got a little bit of sun. But just don't worry about blending it out because when the sun hits you, does the sun blend it out? And next we're gonna highlight. This is a super, super shimmery highlight color. So I'm just going to Pack that on the brush. You want to get a lot. You want your face to look like you're sweating. That's how highlighted it is. And we're just going to put that right under our eyes. Mainly focus it right here. And then we're going to go back. So right under the eyes. Remember, right where we put that highlight is right under there. And then blend it back. Down our nose. Up here. We want to look like we're sweating. Like a glistening angel, you know? And a little bit on the forehead. Next is eyebrows. So my hair is pretty dark, so I think I'm just gonna go with a straight black, just a straight 100% black, and I'm going to use a little angled brush like this. Take this black right here. This is out of the Maybelline the Nudes palette, just a matte black, and we're gonna fill in our eyebrows. And people love eyebrows, and they want their eyebrows to look nice. So we want to overdraw our eyebrows just a little bit, 
give them a nice arch just so we look more sexy and people want to approach us just because we look so like wow her eyebrows look amazing I have to talk to her but we're just gonna overdraw them just the slightest and make the arch super super archy make sure it's super dark in the front we don't want that to look that natural and if you make a mistake all you have to do rub it with your fingers and blend it right out look at that now that's flawless eyebrows. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling more flawless by the second. Honestly, makeup just makes me feel so confident. Next, we're gonna wanna work on our eyes, and honestly, a primer for your eyes is just like a waste of money. Like, you don't need that. Your eyeliner, it, it could just, I mean, you could take this EOS right here, this little chapstick or any chapstick you have, put a little bit on your finger, put it on your eyelids. Look at that, sticky base. It's gonna stick. Now I feel like with our face, we've kind of taken a little bit more of a natural route, just kind of making us look very defined, very awake. Now with our eyes, that's where we wanna do like our main focus. Like that's where we want everyone to look when they first, you know, see us. So for that, we're obviously going to want to use a bright color. And I thought what would be an amazing color a blue, obviously. This is out of the BH 120 palette, so I'm just going to take a little bit like this. And I'm actually going to mix it with this blue right here. So we're just going to mix those colors. And remember, we have a nice sticky base because we just applied that chapstick, so the blue is going to stick super well. Now, girls, honestly, I've noticed that you guys, you don't know how to blend. So all you do to blend is just, just go like that on your eyelid. All you gotta do, go like that. You're just gonna wanna take any white color. It could be shimmery, matte, whatever you want, and we're gonna put that right under our eyebrows. This is gonna make our eyes look like they're lifted a little bit more. They're gonna make it stand out, and they're gonna make our arch the arch of our eyebrow is gonna make it look even higher. And you obviously can't forget the inner corners. I notice a lot of girls, they hardly put anything in there and they just don't look awake at all. I mean, you don't need to worry about blending. It's more important to look awake than it is to blend. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some gold liner. I think this is gonna complement the blue very well. And I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, but I'm going to start pretty far down because you want people to notice this you know this is gold you're not if you're wearing this gold you're not trying to be subtle am I right ladies so you want to make sure you're packing that gold on and then look at we can go out kind of extend it like a wing look at that I really hope you can see that it looks really nice so then if you're at the club and a light hits you you're gonna look like a freaking goddess just put a lot on extend it out like a wing all this highlight and this gold are going to want to be your best friend at the end of the day. Next is eyeliner. We're going to want to do a pretty nice wing, you know? So this is just some Maybelline Ultra Liner in Waterproof. This stuff is perfect because once it's on, it's on for good. If you make a mistake, there's no fix in that. It's on. You don't really have to worry about being too precise. Just wing it out. Just like that, look at that. That's like a super flawless wing. Like I'm on my wing game today. You're going to want super dramatic eyelashes. It's just gonna make your eyes pop so much more. And for that, I have these super, super dramatic eyelashes. You're gonna wanna go pretty heavy with the glue. These eyelashes are so crazy, you don't want them falling off. So I just have like a good amount of glue on there. And then just it on the eye. Remember, after you apply the glue, you're gonna wanna hurry up and stick it on your eye. You don't wanna wait at all. Like, you don't want that glue to dry. So right when you finish applying the glue, you wanna stick it straight onto your eye. You want to obviously apply some lipstick, and because we went heavy on the eyes, we're gonna wanna go heavy on the lip. If you want your lips to look even bigger than they already are, you just wanna slightly overdraw them. Just slightly. 
You don't want it like to look like you're a clown or the Joker. Look at that. Now I look like my lips are just like BAM! I just got some lip injections. I'm ready to go hit the club, get a couple guys numbers, maybe take one home. You never know what's gonna happen. Thank you guys so much for watching and I gotta go to the club so I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!